All right, what is up guys? It's your boy Will back with another video today. And in this video, I will be talking about the three stocks that have the best potential for a short squeeze and how I'll be playing all three, okay? The first one I'll be talking about is Archimoto stock, ticker symbol F-U-V, okay? Archimoto stock, ticker symbol F-U-V. UV. And I'll be giving you guys some buying levels, support levels, and resistance levels on all three of these stocks. And then um, I want to make sure you guys check out the video before this one. I think the title is um, "What? Why Will the Stock Market Crash? Or This Can Crash the Stock Market? That's a very informative video, okay? I want to make sure you guys watch that video because it has more overview of the total market and how I see it, okay? So make sure you check out that video. It's right before this one very informative okay so make sure you guys smash the like button subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss the updates i do post every day around 5 p.m central time and like i told you guys i'll be uploading another video for you guys around 11 a.m to kind of help you more on the broader market okay so hope you guys enjoy the videos and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe now on archimoto stock ticker symbol fuv we were going to buy more shares today like i said we sold half uh, within these two, I think maybe it was this day, we sold half of the position because of earnings was coming and I didn't want to hold a full position on earnings, okay? And as you could tell, uh, I thank myself for that because earnings just dropped it hard, right? So this didn't really bother me too much because I already sold half, so I really didn't have too much money in the stock uh, when this dropped, okay? I am looking to put that half back in, okay? And the first level I was looking at was around $12.20. Now, what happened at this level today? Resistance, okay? Clear resistance hit it perfectly this time. I think the high was like 219. You can see the high right there. The high 219, low I gave 1220. I mean the high 1219, my bad, and the um, buying level was 1220. So this buying level was actually a resistance. Like I said, the buying level can be multiple types of levels, okay? So you always want to pay attention to that. So 1219 resistance level fell. Hard fall too, right? Hard fall. This is why I did not buy today, okay? There's no rush in buying, okay? Especially with these market conditions, I want you guys to kind of slow down, pay attention closer to stocks, what is the stock market doing, and play on that stock market direction, okay? Try not to play against the stock market direction. So right now, bearish did not buy here, okay? So we'll take that level off. The new level that I'm looking at now Make sure you get the stock market options crash course because I teach you guys a lot in there. Okay, you can use Will 50 off to get that stock market options crash course. It's linked in the description and it's also pinned in the comments. Okay, prices will be going up around September. So try to get that quick. So a couple of levels that I'm looking at now. I'm looking at around 1380 as a resistance. 1380 as a resistance right there. And then I'm looking at around $10 for a buying level. Uh, let me take that off. So around 10, um, around $10 for a buying level, right? I'll type it in so it can be a little more cleaner. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let's get the video over 50 likes, okay? Around here is I'll be looking to buy. Okay, so it is up a little bit after hours, around 10 cents. I am expecting a drop. Now, tomorrow, if it opens higher, if it starts pushing higher, I might enter on intraday tomorrow. Okay, I'll probably be looking to enter below $12 because $12 to that resistance level is about 14%. Okay, to kind of try to hedge the position we already have, small position, but to kind of hedge that to kind of make it break even. Okay. So I am trying to work the stock so we can get back break even or even profit. Okay. So I am watching it closely. And if it goes higher tomorrow, I'll probably enter on the intraday. But if it comes lower, then I'll be looking around at $10 uh, for that buying level. So if I do see that, I'll send that signal out tomorrow on the buy and sell signals. So make sure you join that. Um, it's linked in the description and also pinned in the comments. Next stock we'll be talking about, like I said, there will be three in the video, is Bit Digital. Okay. Ticker symbol BTBT. Okay. Ticker symbol BTBT. -T. Now, a couple levels on this stock. First resistance level, $19. This is high on price, so we'll go ahead and take that off. If price ever comes back up there around that resistance level, I'll put it back for you guys. Okay, but new resistance level that I'm watching now is $13. 
$13 is the resistance level now, right there. Okay, we don't have shares of this stock yet. Um, I am looking to buy it more, but as you can tell, it is on a downtrend. And I told you guys, try not to go against that downtrend, especially with these market conditions. Okay, old buying level dropped below it, so had no chance to show buying pressure. Done. This level, like I told you guys, I wanted to come below $11.50. It does look like it's a little bit down after hours. It closed around twelve dollars and two cents, and that's around eleven ninety after hours. So it is starting to come down, which I want to see. I want it to come below eleven fifty. So actually, I'll make this level like yellow, like orange. So we want it to come below here. So this is our warning sign below to actually start looking to buy. And then the level that I actually want to buy off of is around eleven twenty. So very tight little area right there. Let me type it in so it's a little, make that green. This area right here. And this is the only area I'm willing to play on Bit Digital. okay? Check your symbol BTBT. This is the only area that I'm actually looking to buy as well. So below 1150 and above 1120, this is the level that I'm looking to buy, okay? So when it drops down here, I'll be watching it to see if I see any type of buying pressure. Okay, we'll want that buying pressure to confirm. And then when it does, I'll go ahead and enter there. I'll put a small amount in. Like I said, these market conditions are very, very crucial right now. Okay, especially what's going on um, overseas and all that. You want to be very, very more nimble on plays. Okay, so I'll put uh, money in here. I'll go ahead and enter and I'll be looking to exit around that $13 level for a nice scout play. So that's about a 14 to 15% gain. Okay, so that's what I'm kind of looking for right now on Bit Digital. So we'll see how that plays out tomorrow. And last one is, of course, Skyworks stock, ticker symbol WORX, ticker symbol WORX. Okay, we had a resistance level right here around $3.50. This is still a resistance level and an exit target. Okay, I did not sell any shares of this, but like I said, I always want to update you guys on the best levels. So whenever the price comes back up, we'll put that back on there. Actually, I'll put $3.50 back on here, but I'll leave it. I'll leave it red, actually, so you know that's my ultimate exit target, 350. Now, I'll give you guys a buying level at five at two dollars and sixty-five cents. Look what happened. It hit it um, pre-market. Okay, buying pressure, stock went higher. I want this level to hit normal hours because this is why I'm actually look at to buy more shares. Now, when any short squeeze stock, right? This is not Apple. This is not Amazon. When any stock like this, try not to put more than 1% in your portfolio. So just in case it drops hard, it won't hurt your account, okay? And you can just move on to the next stock. You never want one stock to weigh your position of your whole account, okay? So just make sure you're watching that. I don't put too much money in these short squeeze stocks, okay? Because they're very risky plays, okay? So just a FYI to kind of help you guys a little better. But uh, came right there at earnings. So I'm waiting for this to hit during normal hours. This is still the level that I'm looking at, okay? 265. Now. A resistance level, so I want it to drop. Okay, I want it to drop around at 265 level, and then a resistance level that you're going to have to watch out for is around 285. So once it drops, we're going to have to watch out for this resistance level um, at 285. Okay, so looking at for the drop here, then I want it to come back up and blow through that resistance. If we don't see any resistance right here and it starts to fall back down, we'll probably go ahead and exit out the play and we'll move on to the next stock. Okay. So that's how I'm playing, trigger symbol W-O-R-X. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, smash that like button, subscribe. And don't forget, I have a couple more sessions available this month for the one-on-one -on -one sessions. You can use Will 50 off for the one-on-one -on -one sessions, okay, for those prices go up as well, because I didn't know demand would be so high, okay? So make sure you get the one-on-one -on -one sessions. It's linked in the description. It's also pinned in the comments, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, remember, a nuts recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.